forth getting ready to uh, load up to go to Mentone. Going to try out the new rotor rack. Uh, build it for the trailer. It's a, a cable tray rack and I use insulation right here to the sides here. This is pipe insulation. Well, there she is, laying in the rotor rack, off the gyro. Now I'm going to put some uh, uh, foam rubber over the top where I'm going to be putting the bungee cords on. And then they'll come down and just tie underneath of it. Put about 10 to 12 of them on there. And we should be in good shape then. It all fits in there together. Only got one bolt to take out. And uh, got the bag over the rotor head. And uh, everything strapped down. I got 10 bungee cords on it. And as you can see, it's got the, uh, the foam padding that uh, comes in the rotor box. And everything is away from the side walls. And where it's close to the side walls, it's got uh, foam hitting against this other foam on the side. And uh, bungee cords around them. Trying to move it back and forth. Uh, just really can't do it. But everything else is uh, seems to be moving right along with it. And everything's good with it. Everything's uh, latched down into it. There's the uh, linch pin that holds it down to this. Uh, it seems like it's nice and secure and everything moves with the trailer. It's completely separate from the uh, gyro itself. Uh, the other supports, they just close right up and they're all tight and down. Uh, it was rel rel relatively pretty easy to do it and uh, uh, just got to move the ladder around here and there. Hopefully I might come up with a way to uh, start to uh, just clamp it down. And there's the uh, front of it all the way down through there. I got it wrapped around the hub bar and the bolts on there. So if it does try to slide forward or backwards, which I don't think it will with all the foam on there, it's grapping, gripping it pretty good. At least it'll hold on those bolts. And... Uh, won't go anywhere but uh, seems like it's working out pretty well I'm pretty happy with it so far